Hey guys, so Ayala Land hit another higher high. It's now above 48. It's at its highest as of this point in time. The breakout continues. What should you do? Check this video out. Hey guys, so I'm now in Oregon. Uh, over the past few days, we've been in California looking at different sites, but last night we arrived in Oregon and at the backdrop, we're still at the Pacific Coast. But as always and as usual, allow me to give you updates on the market. Uh, a lot of people got so excited yesterday and a lot of people kept sending me questions all about Ayala Land because it went above 48 pesos per share. And what should be the narrative and the technique there? This should not surprise you for those who've been following this video uh, or the video series that I've been doing in YouTube. All of our, our goal, our technique as traders is not really to guess where the market is headed, but our goal is just to follow the charts. And if you've been following the videos over the past few days and weeks, I've mentioned that a breakout from 47, if Ali should go up and stay above the 47 range, it should be possible that 47 will convert from a resistance into a support which will hold and protect the stock. And I've mentioned this also that a longer and midterm narrative for Ayala Land could bring the stock way up around the 54 to 56 level for the midterm. Now, there was news yesterday that uh, Ayala Land would issue REITs. REITs is Real Estate Investment Trust. For those who don't know what REITs are, I'm going to make a series of videos about it leading into the Ayala Land uh, issuance of the REITs. But I've been a big fan of REITs for quite some time. I've been investing in REITs since I think 2013, but not in the Philippines because there, there were no issuance of REITs yet. The REITs that I have are overseas in Singapore, uh, which, which the, the market there for REITs is more developed than what we have. So Ayala Land is doing something for the very, very first time that it's allowing people, uh, it's it's issuing shares via REIT. So what, what exactly is REITs? Basically, it's this. It's a proxy for those who want to earn from real estate, from rentals, uh, from earnings off of the property. And if you want, and it, where are we going? Oh, we're not, you don't want to see that, that anymore? You're okay, nah? I want my shoes to get wet. Uh, okay. Because my other one's already wet. It's, it's gone. Okay, Sirana. Yeah. Okay, we got wet yesterday, so. But it was yeah. totally worth it. Okay. Say hello to everyone. Hi. Okay. So we're going up. Yeah. Okay, I'll follow them now. We are in the shark head. Shark head. Look at that. She's like so a that's shark, a shark head, head. But from another angle, it's called an arrow head. Okay, arrow head shark. No wheel. Wheel's head. Oh, wheel's wheel's head. head. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, show them the. The, the, the what? I don't know if it's wind or. Uh, it couldn't be seen here. Can't? Mm, can't. Yeah, it can be seen in the photos. You can see it in the camera. So, anyways. Yeah, it could be or it could be win. Anyways, REITs uh, basically allow you to earn off percentages from the rental income. So, in Singapore, I think it's 90% of the rental income is given out at, in a form of dividends. So, what's nice about that, for in my experience, you know, the, the yields and the dividends that I would get from it are much, much higher than the normal dividends that I would get from uh, the common or preferred stocks that I would get. And of course, since it's dividends, your yield is dependent on what price you buy it. And your yield also is dependent also on uh, how much they give per year. And what's amazing about that, I, I still don't have full details yet on what they would issue out as a REIT. No? So uh, stay tuned over the next, uh, I guess, few weeks or months, what they will issue out. Will it be a mall, or commercial centers? Will it be... Uh, their hotels or their hospitals. So a REIT could be basically any property that you can rent out and the revenues from the rental income will be given uh, to those who buy the stock. So people might be asking, why would they want to issue a REIT? Uh, here's the thing, if they issue out a REIT, of course they will be selling uh, shares. It's just like, it's similar to an IPO that it will be listed in the exchange. So with that as well, Ayala Land will get money in bulk for that for that treat the money they can use for property development as you all know and as what i've been mentioning over the past videos 
uh, property development companies make more money every time there's a raw piece of land, they build value off of it, and they build, construct, and that's where they make a large chunk of it. So this large chunk of money, they can use to construct, build, add value, which in turn will give them uh, more profits as well. So there, this, this might be good news for Ayala Land because uh, of buying, I don't know what they will issue out yet as a REIT, no? but, but this one, if it gets, uh, if it really comes into fruition, it will give them access to more money. It will give them access to a larger amount of funds which they can use. So I guess that's what the excitement is all about. But for all of us, for trading the markets, guys, medyo, ano again, uh, tawag doon, uh, nakatakot na moves para sa vlog. But anyways, for no cuts, we will do this live while walking through this pile of vlogs that you see below. So, uh, to all of us, it should not shock us regardless of what news came in or out. Basically because, uh, number one, everything we need to know is found in the charts. Everything we need to know is found via the technicals. Everything we need to know is found via the breakout and also Ali in general, which is in contrast to what's happening to the other Ayala group stocks, AC, MWC, and Glow, and Glow are not doing as well as Ali right now. Ali is bullish, short, mid, long term. Ali is also breaking out. So. Very, very interesting days. I'll keep you posted. For those who bought at the breakout, congratulations. No need to sell yet. Hold your positions. For those who are planning to buy uh, for short-term movements, the closer you are from a bounce to 47, the better. Again, the further you are from 47, it, it hires your risk. So uh, I will not tell you whether to buy or avoid, but it will be at your discretion. The best time to buy is at 47. If 47 will hold, for those who bought at the breakout above 47 or even at the breakout at 45 that's a good narrative already for you to uh, start to come in so anyways uh, for position traders i'll tell you later on when there's a reversal again to sell remember even if it's ayala if sell signals emerge you have to sell and take profits so i guess that's it for now uh after after the this us trip now i'll be back uh, in the Philippines for a day, but I'm flying out to Singapore for Stocksmart Singapore. So for those in the area, if you, even you're from Malaysia and Thailand and want to learn more about investing and trading in the stock market, join us because we will have four modules of technical analysis there. Then May 25, the largest investment conference in the Philippines. And it's not just me who's going to be the speaker there. Investment conference 2019 will be at Samsung Hall, May 25. Then Stocksmart's Manila this June. So I guess that's it. Uh, Yvonne, do you have any words no but hurry up let's see it say bye bye na lang if you have, don't have any words bye new word keywords more people are waiting for keywords yeah trade well trade strong and trade smart see you again soon so that's it for now from uh what do you call this samuel boardman samuel boardman scenic state scenic, scenic corridor. corridor in oregon see you all again soon guys and god bless you Bye-bye.